Yes. Uh, today on the program, we're gonna they always do that. They do a little teaser. Like today, here's what's coming up. So I'm you, appropriately teased. Yeah. Right well, now. Well, here's what we're gonna review. I'll tell you this much. We're gonna okay. review the show, the movie uh, called Knocked Up with Seth Rogen, Catherine Heigl, directed by Judd Apatow. Uh, we'll also find out if Seth Rogen actually had his butt waxed for that scene. Mm, well, I'm looking inside forward scoop. to knowing that. And what show did Judd Apatow first write for? Little little trivia for for you, a little fun yeah. fact. So that's Think all coming. That. It's all coming up Google later. It. Later in the pro- no, wait, no, they don't need to. I'm going to tell them. Oh, but I thought they might like to know that's, before you told me. Okay, oh. you can pause right now and Google it if you want to know ahead of time, which seems weird. I'm going to tell you in a few minutes. I like to ruin things. It was a teaser. I was trying to tease, and I was going to put on a different like a little dressier shirt. But I forgot. You're fine. Busy with the lights and the production. Gross. All right, let's talk about the movie. Let, let's Great. get let's get your opinion on it first, because no one really cares what I have to say. That's including me. Um, loved it. You know, I... Where are you going? I'm still here. I just get bored when you talk. Thank you. Go ahead. Say why what you... I talk? Say what, no, say what you need to say. All right. Um, I will say this much. I don't laugh at much. I'm really a serious person on the inside. But I laughed a lot at this movie. I really... I, I liked it more than 40-Year-Old Virgin. And I liked 40-Year-Old Virgin, but I... Knocked Up to Me had this awesomeness of like funny and but like sweet and also like a little edgy in a weird way. I don't quite know why, but it you know, right. It, 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 it didn't it didn't try as hard to be jokey, jokey, funny like Forty Year Old Virgin did. It was yeah, just kind of a very natural, very natural story. It starts out with Catherine Heigl. Uh, she gets a promotion at E where she's going to be on camera, so she goes out for another mm-hmm. town with her sister, uh, played by the very funny wife of Judd Apatow. Name not coming to me right now. But she's funny. Yeah, she's d- damn funny. But goes out, uh, gets a little drunk, has some drinks, meets this guy played by Seth Rogen, and they end up having sex and not using a condom. So. As you do. As I mean, it happens to the best of right. us and With the rest Seth of Rogen us. Seth Rogen all the time. Yes. Hot, by the way. So. Bad, but, yeah, but okay. that's, I mean, at first I had a little hard time seeing that, that Catherine Heigl would hook up with Seth Rogen, but he's the funny guy, he's very personable. And she was drunk. And she was intoxicated, he was making her laugh, and that's... Yeah, she had the beer goggles on, which was a nice little a nice little switch right. up, because usually right. it's the guy, got his beer goggles, ugly right. girl, yeah. but this time, no, it's the opposite, which I kind of like. I mean, he's not ugly, come on. It's, it's oh, I didn't say he was ugly. Like, I know, he's cute. So they, they do it, and then she's going to have this kid, she decides to keep the kid... And then it kind of becomes about the movie. Kind of becomes about Seth Rogen, like trying to earn her love and trust as and well. Trust. That love he and... can actually be a right. partner because he's kind of like a, a douchebag, s- stoner. I don't know, douchebag, but douche just bag. laid back, chill stoner guy. Doesn't really work. He's just still he's like a, a he's like a perpetual adolescent. Right, he's, exactly. He's still lives still... with his. No, he's no, got a house with a bunch of friends. Yeah. One of those, like a frat house. It's a house that I believe I've been to every time I go over guys' friends' houses. Right. Guys' friends' yeah, houses. Yeah, it's very college. Friends' guys, whatever. House. Yeah. But yeah. It, uh, yeah. It, uh, yeah. All his, all, I loved all his his friends, uh, like Jay Baruchel, um, the other guy from Freaks and Geeks, the other yeah. guy from Freaks and Geeks, the other guy from Undeclared. And the girl. The other guy from... All of Judd Apatow's... <laughs> Asian girl. Uh, Asian girl was hilarious. Just, uh, uh, um, Freaks and Geeks was also done by Judd, and as well as Undeclared. So he he likes to reuse his people. Which Did is you just re- nice. reveal the answer to the beginning? Uh, no. Oh, okay, never mind. I, I will reveal it now, everybody. Yay! Remember that trivia question? Uh, Judd Apatow's first job that he wrote for was the Larry Sanders Show. Oh, that's a funny show. Yeah, and Catherine Heigl is gonna be a huge star. Surprising, I think she surprised everyone by being a really good comedic actress. Good. Say, so if you haven't seen it, definitely go see it. Um, if you have seen it, see it again. Why are you watching this? And why are you watching you this? Know? Just oh well, they, no way. they care about what we think. Oh, oh, they wanted to know the answer to your trailer. To your right? Did Seth Rogen why? have his ass waxed for that? Did he? Did, Did he? he? Tell me. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that is the shittiest. I don't ever. know. I just thought it was like a good question to ask at the beginning. Were you trying to tie it in with like Steve Carell having his chest waxed in Four Year Old Virgin? All right, we, fact checker John just came in. He he did in fact have his ass and his whole back and his back waxed. apparently. All right, then let's rate this sucker. Um, I'm gonna give it a full five heads. Uh, Big old fat juicy heads. I'm gonna give waxed. it heads. <laughs> Sorry. Are you done? I'm gonna give and, it. And yeah. I'm done. Okay. I'm going to give it 
four point five heads. Why did you do that? Because you hate doing the half why, heads. Why did you do this? Because you hate it. Why did you do it? Because you hate it.